not everyone will like this next product that I'm gonna mention. I'm already like in my heat. I'm already confused with my own skincare routine at this point. Hello everyone! Today I am gonna walk you through my nighttime skincare routine. I keep um I keep my routine fairly simple at the moment because I am still recovering from my massive breakout. I'm not sure if I have recovered yet because right now occasionally I will get a few pimples on my face as you can see on my face today I have like a few pimples around here for my skincare routine generally I am focusing more on hydrating the skin but in this routine I also have a couple of products I also have a couple of products that have exfoliating and brightening ingredient. The first step of my skincare routine, my nighttime skincare routine is of course uh, double cleansing. I love double cleansing very much. I think at this point everyone already knows what double cleansing is. Double cleansing is a two steps cleansing method. For the first step you will use a cleanser that will remove your makeup or on everyday basis for me this first cleanser will remove my sunscreen because some sunscreen is a bit tough to remove with a regular cleanser you can use a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm some people sometimes they use micellar water or if you do not want to spend any extra money you can just use your regular cleanser but just use it twice i think that can be considered as double cleansing as well but my personal preference is to use uh, either cleansing oil or cleansing balm. Here I have this uh, Dior Hydra Life Oil to Milk Makeup Removing Cleanser. This is a cleansing oil. This is uh, still new in my routine. I think I only use it like once or twice. It is a good cleansing oil. It has a little scent to it, like a fresh um, if you use Hydra Life range from Dior, you will know the smell. I just put this product on my dry face. I will massage it to remove all the things that I want to remove. It's either makeup or sunscreen. And then I will just add on some water to emulsify the product. And after that, I'll just rinse it off with water. In this clip, you can see I'm using a wet cloth. but if I'm not filming this video, I will just rinse it off with water. For my regular cleanser, or the second step of the double cleansing method, I use the Suluasu Gentle Cleansing Foam. Uh, I love this product very much. Uh, it is gentle as it says on the bottle and even though it feels very clean after cleansing, but my face still feels moisturized and very soft to the touch i will say i feel like not everyone will like this next product that i'm gonna mention the next product or the next step is my essence i love this facial treatment essence from sk2 i have been using this for more than three years now i think the only thing that this product does very very well is it is very hydrating to the skin maybe that sounds quite simple for some people but for me hydration is very important when it comes to skincare routine because if your skin is dehydrated you will have many skincare issues also with hydration you can speed up the process of repairing your skin but one thing i can say is that my skin has never looked dull after i started using this product the next step is a bit tricky because i have two products here that i use alternatively every other day i use uh, this product i will use the essence first because this is a serum but if i use this product i will use this one first and then i use the essence this one is a retinol serum from elizabeth arden it has a long name but i will put it about here 
and also i forgot to mention that i will link everything down below in the description box so that you can check out all the products that are mentioned in this video today this one is an exfoliating lotion from biologic recherche this is lotion p50w this is the most gentle one from the range because i just started uh, using this lotion in this video i'm using this retinol serum it comes in the small capsules the way i use it is just i smear it all over my face it feels very smooth on the skin it seems almost oily but it's not you just have to apply it to the to the skin and then just let it set for at least 30 seconds before you move on to another product for the night when i want to use this lotion i will use the lotion first and then i will uh, continue with the essence this one i just need two to three drops at the moment because i'm still introducing this to into my skin and it can be a little bit harsh but i was advised to use it just two to three drops for every application so to recap this part of skincare routine because it sounds a little bit confusing so for the night that i used uh, this serum i will first do the two steps cleansing method first cleanser second cleanser the essence and then i use the serum and then i move on to another product for the night when i use this lotion i will do the first cleanse the second cleanse and then this lotion after that i will use the essence and move on to the next product i'm already like in my heat i'm already confused with my own skincare routine at this point for the last step of my nighttime skincare routine, I will seal everything off with a moisturizer. But I have two moisturizers here. The first one is this one from Pharmacy. This is their Honey Drop Lightweight Moisturizer. I do not use this every single night. I only use this whenever my skin is feeling um, more oily than usual. But for most nights, I prefer a thicker moisturizer. So I use this Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty. I have this for almost a year now. It's almost finished, but I like it very much. I will put quite a lot on my skin on my face on my neck and i also bring this down to my chest area so i think that's it for my nighttime skincare routine i think it is um quite simple it's not too extensive it's not too crazy it's just something that my skin really needs so yeah if you have a product that you like you can comment down below you can like this video if you like this kind of content and please subscribe to my channel i think that's it for today and thank you so much for watching